my hope has been that the, the Kabbalah gets a fair chance for the average person in the average U.S. city to, to uh, have access to at least one day a year. I mean, I haven't been able to fully implement my plan because of, of the lack of funding, but it was initially to really bring this to some of the major, <coughs> major U.S. cities to give them one day a year that they could learn about what Kabbalah is each year with a different emphasis. Like last year, the emphasis was the Kabbalah of the Ari, a very important Kabbalist that defined Sfat Kabbalism. And this year, the emphasis is the Zohar. These are both very important works of Kabbalah. And just giving people the tools to not be afraid of getting the book and studying it, whether it's on their own or in a study group, it's to, it's to spark people's imagination. Some people will be inspired more than become scholars of Kabbalah. Others will continue their already existing studies and, and be inspired to, to go be to more. And, and for some people, it's, it's simply to improve their lives. It's simply, they won't come back till the next year. They may not read that many books. They may not put it into practice by and large in a daily practice, but that, but that day will give them, will spark their imagination about how to live a more meaningful life. And uh, obviously people have been coming back, so we know that it's been working for a lot of people. I get a lot of great feedback, and I'm happy to say that it, it's, it's a day that I feel, even though we, we can do it in more places, I feel it's still really done a lot for a lot of people.